Amen. Ah, good afternoon. So today I came early. I'm so happy to God. I'm so grateful to God and I'm happy. So we have updated it. So now it's one per day and we can be able to do many other things. So even if it's one per day, it doesn't mean that's that's all I do. I do a lot of things actually. So, but at least now I can do so many more other things. Now that it's one podcast per day. So we thank God for that. In God's name be praised. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you, Lord, or this afternoon, or this day, or this new week. Thank you, Lord, for the updated podcast of yesterday that you helped us with. Father, we thank you. Thank you for always being our God. Thank you for everything. May that be your name, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we appreciate you. Father, we thank you. May that be your mighty holy name. Oh, Lord, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done. Oh, Lord, we appreciate you. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, as we are here, we want to learn from you. Almighty Father, please open our understanding. Father, speak through me. Give me your trances. Let the Spirit of the Lord take over in the name of Jesus. Let the Word of God go in us. Let it go and bring people to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered by fire in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Oh my God, I was going into deep, deep fellowshipping. <laughs> Yeah, we thank God. Uh, may God's name be praised. So the topic is let no man despise thy youth. So while I was doing money prayers, I was at the same time using my heart to say, God, what are we going to say today? God, what am I going to say today? Because I know I have to do podcasts now, like immediately after the money prayer. And that's what happened. I came here after the morning prayers. Me, I woke up not early, so that's why we are doing it this time. <laughs> so we thank God for the protection and the night and the gift of another new week. It's not our making; it's the Lord's doing. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, what can Israel say? May God's name be praised in Jesus' name. So the topic is from. Um, First Timothy chapter four verse twelve. Okay, I was explaining. <laughs> oh my God, why am I jumping, running a task? <laughs> we don't run a task at in Jesus' name. Why am I speaking words and uh, small and not completing it? <laughs> so I was, um, I was praying, and uh, so many topics were coming, but towards the ending of the prayer. We will not run the task in Jesus' name. We will not run the task in Jesus' name. Every plan of the devil to make us run the task we scatter it, we destroy it, we send the evil arrows back to the senders in Jesus' name, you know. Fire. Ah, uh, but what I was trying to say is that I was saying something and I did not finish it, then I came back to another thing. So that's what I was saying. Oluwa, by no, Oluwa, by no, just Oluwa, no. So we thank God, um, we thank God. <laughs> What am I saying? So we thank God for uh, the word of God. So uh, by towards the ending of the prayer, so uh, this topic came strongly. So I knew that is the topic God wants us to do for today. But before the ending of the prayer, so many topics were coming. So this one remained a stage on my mind. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers. In what? In conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm 
I'm trying to look at other Bible verses related to that, that if we can add them together. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should start from that verse 6. Okay, let's start from verse 6. Uh, First Timothy chapter 4, verse 6. If that puts the brethren in remembrance of these things, that shall be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith, and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. You see that? What he's saying is that the things of God, they transcend generations. It will help you in this world, and even after this world, it will still help you. So we should not only be after the uh, physical, the money, the fame. We are children of God. We have more. Let the worldly, let them do anything for the money. Let them do anything for the fame. But we are children of God. Let us uh, do the spiritual exercise. It's what I was sharing on my YouTube in the morning prayer session. I said, some people will be like a gospel song. They will just see gospel song and and, uh, go and look at the gospel songs. They are not inspired by the Holy Spirit. And this morning we sang a song from the hymns. And I was like, look at this hymn. It has been raining years. And if you still sing it again, whether you sing it in the morning, you sing it in the afternoon, you sing it in the evening, it will still do the same thing in your heart. But look at many of these gospel songs, that these recent ones that they are doing. They just rain for a few minutes, for a few Maybe a few months. The one that tried, we ran for years, for a few years, and they were forgotten about it. Nobody remember it again. And does that mean um, the power of God has changed or what? No. It's because it wasn't inspired by the Holy Spirit to start with. Because the same Holy Spirit that used to speak to people and convince people in the olden days is still the same. So if something is from Him, if you listen to it again and again and again, you know, it renews itself. Look at the Bible. The same inspiration that was used to write it in those days. If you still read it, you will still get that inspiration in your heart. You will still feel that presence of God. You understand? May God help us to keep ourselves in the sight of God. You know, it's also what the topic is talking about, that we should... Give ourselves to God. This is it is this our youth that we can really do it for God. It's this youth time that we can really give everything to God. You know, one of the topics that came to my mind was um, the whole duty of men. You understand? Where Ecclesiastes, that Solomon when he was already old, when he was telling people, let us say the the old the conclusion of the old old world Abby. let us hear yeah, the conclusion of the old matter fear God and keep his commandment and it was advising you that <laughs> give your life to God in your youth to uh, seek the Lord in the days of your youth or how did they call that place fear the Lord do his commandment keep his commandments that this is the old duty of men you understand so may God help us so as we are we are uh, charging ourselves from the word of God this this day, may God keep us on his side in the name of Jesus. May God help us to give ourselves to God. All these things that youths are doing, you know. Ah, I will, I will, I will talk about it. Let's just go to. Let's go to, let's read it to that verse 12 again before we start talking. For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things. Have a promise of the life that now is, 
and of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach, because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth. Be thou an example of the believers. In what? In conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Let's read thirteen with this. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on the on of the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy prophecy may appear to all. Take it unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Are you seeing? Timothy was a young minister when Paul was writing this epistle to him. You understand? He said, don't allow any man to despise your youth. So he started advising, these are the things you should be doing. Be meditating upon the things of God. Be doing the things of God. And we see it in our days today. Hmm. You know, these are one of the reasons why God didn't allow me to do all this work that people are doing. Many times I ask God, why, why, God, why, God, why? But God keeps telling me, many of them will despise your youth. Imagine some jobs now. They will say we only want 25, 20 years old. Uh, what do they mean by that? So that you can be enticing to men. Then you see some rubbish that they used to write online. They will be like, eh, if a girl is in his thirties, so don't marry her. She has used, they have used that before. They have, you know. I remember when I was younger than this, I was in my twenties. And one of the guys that I liked then, but I don't know. You know, I'm this kind of person. My own kind of love is different from what people call love. If you say you love me and you just care about the physical attraction and you know, you know, I don't, I don't see it as love. You need to really know about me, like more than my physical. How can you see me one day and you, see, you like me like that? You have to know me, and you have to, we have to be able to match each other. I'll be able to put it like understand each other and want to be with each other. You understand? Build each other. You know, that is my own type of relationship. All this uh, physical attraction kind of thing. It's not my thing. So the, I think maybe that was one of the reasons why I and the guy couldn't go far. But I don't even know. Maybe I like him. Maybe I don't like him. You know, when, when someone is, is in your past, you will be thinking, was he like? Was he love? Was he... So it's something like that, but, you know. So I just want to say what he said. So one of the things he said that time, I said I want to go and study medicine. So he didn't support it. I said I want to go and study medicine. I was like, hey, you would have become very old. You know, that is the language of the of the world. If you, are, you have allowed somebody to despise your youth, you don't give your youth to God to use you. You don't know this. He said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It's not just in the day of trouble. I just say, Jesus alone. Coming to God in your youth is a strong tower for you. In the sense that it protects you from all the dangers, all the attacks that your friends are getting in the world. It keeps you away from all these evil attacks. It doesn't allow somebody to despise your youth. I remember one time that I was like, ah, if it's just modeling job, if it's just... Later, I started doing. Many, I started seeing many of the modelly things that people are doing online. Sometimes they will ask you to be naked. They will ask you to to wear pants and bra. I will be passing in the street. I will see younger girls, young girls, wearing pants and bra in advertisements of products. Can I do these things? I cannot. So that is what God is telling us today. Don't allow anybody to despise your youth. That guy that I was saying by the time I will be thirty. I will be in my thirties. I will be looking old. He knows what he's saying because he have had experiences like that with girls, because they have they have given their bodies to men several times, several times. So at that age, maybe some of them have even aborted. Some of them are already having um, baby mama. What do they call it? Single mother, like 
child, without without mother, without father, you know, without marriage, at that age. It's very rare nowadays, except by the grace of God, that you, you see girls that's in their 30s, they're still very focused in, in things that they're doing, no extra child attached to them. You know, when I tell people my age, many of them ask me, do you have a child? I say, I don't have child. I don't have husband, so I don't have child. So how was I able to conquer all this? Because I put myself under the shadow of the Almighty. He said that dwelleth the secret place of the Most High. Because I put myself in the secret place of the Most High. So it protects me. So what is it trying to say? Or what is God trying to tell us today? Put yourself under the shadow of the Almighty. Put yourself in the secret place of the Most High. It will protect you from dangers of the world. It will protect you from, from despising your youth. You know, in those days, I used to like, um, if it's just job, if it's just job. There was no one dream that God showed me, and he showed me one of the CEOs of that company, and was like, you have made a covenant with us. Ha. Huh. You know, I was just looking for a job from them, or just job. Oh. I didn't say I wanted to do all these bad, bad things they, they were doing. You know, it was not like covenant. And God has told me, this is the reason why I have been keeping you away from having job. Many of these high post people that you see, they are very rich and have, and have companies. Many of them, they couldn't wait for God's time to give them that riches. They went demonic. So people that are working for them, they introduce them into demonic things. So God is saying, that is the reason why it's not allowing me to get all these jobs. Imagine a company where you have to design um, demonic things, things that will make people sinful or something like that, and they pay you. Or let's take a very um, example that is very practical. The companies where they produce all this uh, alcohol and uh, and uh, tobacco and uh, and uh, cigarettes, maybe it's one company that they are doing all these things. Maybe they are workers. They are they are there. They are making money. But the energy they are supposed to be using for the things of God. I am not saying every one of us we should we should become pastors. And even if we have to become pastors, no problem. He said, this is the old duty of men. Fear God and keep his commandments. And if, if God doesn't want you to be a pastor, he will still give you another job. But this time, you would have learned how to do that job without sinning against God. Maybe God allows you to now have a company where you don't have to do all those bad, bad things, where you, you built it with the with the blood of Jesus and with, with obeying the commandments of God, it's possible. If God says that all the companies, all the CEOs, they are devilish, they are, they are making girls to, to sleep naked. You know, there was one time I... It's a long time now. Not so long, but it's not recently. It's, very, it's a long time, a few years ago. I can't really remember the exact time I read it. It can even be last year, it can even be two years ago, but I can't remember precisely. So I was reading about a model. The first girl that first appeared naked in uh, in Modeli. They they that time they were still using sculptures, dressings like um you know sculptures now, like molding an image. That was the time they were still using. She was popular, she was rich. She was everything. A man divorced his wife to go and be with her. And it goes into maybe divorce, maybe killed his wife, I don't even know. And it caused a problem for her. She went into asylum. You know, she 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 ran mad or something, I don't even know. Look at it. All the all the times that they have used to, to despise her youth, making her to dress naked. They will give her the money, but those companies, they are they are using it negatively you know you know okay let me explain it in a better english like this they made her to do modeling naked you understand they gave her money they because they have covenants with the devil so 
they use it and it takes their glory higher. But that girl, they gave her the money, fine, fine. But after a while, the repercussion came. Because men started lost in after her. You know? It led her into problem. She ran away. Are you seeing the ending? They said she lived in that place till old age and she now had long years. She lived in that asylum for years. So all the youth age where she was the flashy, she was the the one that camera is always on her that people want to see, they want to have her on their sculptures. All those years has gone. Are you seeing how the devil works? Don't use your energy for these negative things. Don't use your energy for all this rubbish. Use your energy for God. That's why I had to read more than that verse in that chapter 6. I mean, in that chapter 4 of First Timothy. You understand? I had to read more than that verse 12. That don't let any man despise that. We saw other advice there. That you should use your youth for edifying. For things that edify. For good things. By the time you are in your in your old age, you don't you don't uh, expire at that time. Imagine this thing I'm doing now. Don't we have elderly people that are still doing it? Of course. But allowing somebody to despise your youth, some girls they will say they will take them to to Dubai to vacation. You know, wait for the time that you can afford your own vacation by yourself. This is exactly what God is is leading me, is telling me about all these jobs. He said, you are looking at uh, all these jobs like, okay, and they will give me this thing, they will give me that. He said, I will build company for you. I will, you will have your own companies, not just one. Those things that they are giving to their, to their staff, I will take you to that point where you can afford it by yourself. That is not even a company that is giving it to you. Amen. I say amen to this. Amen. You see, that is it. Don't allow them to despise your youth. In your youth, as a girl, that is the stage you should be working, you should be struggling. There is no bad thing in working as a girl. I don't know what happens to many girls nowadays. I don't understand it. Anytime I write about it on my Facebook, people don't comment. But anytime I think about it, I'm like, am I, am I the hold one out? Is it a crime to, to say I want to work for my money? Because that is how many of these men make me to to look like. Or let me say the girls, you know. If it's me and man that we are arguing now, I can argue very well. But when it's girls, you know, I I kind of like calm down. I don't really argue with girls like that, like that. I don't. <laughs> and I have my reasons. One of my reasons is because girls are emotional. You know, what they are saying, they may not really, it may not really be um, from, from, deep thinking it may just be from um being emotional like this thing you are saying is hurting me you know this is how i feel you know when the boys i love you someone like me i'll think about it what do you mean by you love me but the particular girl it might just attract her like oh she said he loves me he gives me flowers you know but for me i would think deep you understand what do you mean by by flower is this flower what will i do with it after tomorrow is the flower still there so i should now be shouting because of ordinary flowers that will die right now you know i think the but a lot of girls are just very emotional when you say and eh, my daddy is the richest in the world she will believe you you know there are some girls like that, that they are they're just very very emotional like, they don't have time to think about anything that you are telling them, you know? Even if you tell them, no, my wife is at home, but I want to I want to be taken care of you. Some girls will believe you. You understand? So many times I always think, am I being hard? But I'm not hard. This is how God wants all girls to be. If you are still the type that you cannot make decisions for yourself, you have to go and pray. Oh God, if it's a cause, deliver me. God wants us to have sense. God wants us to think. The same way these men think. That's how God wants us to be able to think. The man will say, yeah, I will take you for vacation. 
and you cannot afford it. You know, this is one of the things reasons why I couldn't get married for many years because I want a type of uh, proposal that is in a beautiful, expensive restaurant. Yes, <laughs> with nice designs and everything. But like, I saw that I can't even afford that kind of restaurants yet. Number one. Then number two. The clothes are weird. I can't even afford it yet. If a man gives me a car like this, I can't afford a car yet. But by the time I can afford a car, I can afford that restaurant, I can afford the beautiful clothes, I can even afford the meals there. Then it takes me there. You know, it is the perfect match. So many of these girls will be like, okay, ah, he's spending money on me. But can you afford these things? So after he has given you all this money, does the, all the money become your money? Is it your money now? It still is money. Some people, you know, these are the, these are the, don't despise, don't let anyone despise your youth. Don't let them take you on vacations just to satisfy their hold and their, and their fantasy because that girl of yesterday when she was talking, she said they just had fantasy that they will mess girls up so they, they satisfied it with them. Don't let any man despise your youth. You as a girl, don't let any man despise your youth. I don't know how you are going to take what I'm saying because girls don't take words with, with like this. It takes, it takes their heart becoming hardened before they, they really get to this point of listening to instructions like this. After they are falling into the temptation and they have learned from it. And many people still don't learn. They will still do the same mistake the next time. But when I'm talking to guys like this, you know, because they are not always emotional, they are listening, they are getting it. But at the same time, I will still talk to girls. Don't let any man despise your youth. Don't be the one that they will just say you are so beautiful and then you are blushing like idiot. Are you an idiot? Because somebody says you are beautiful. Thank you. The reply to you are beautiful is thank you very much. God bless you. You are God bless you. I really appreciate by the time you see all these things, that is the answer. It's not to now be blushing. <laughs> no, don't let any man despise your youth. For you younger girls that you are 12 years old, 13 years old, that you are saying, and the man was now fingering you and you now stayed there. Don't let any man despise your You don't let him even touch you with his hand, not to even talk of removing your pants. Don't even allow it at all. Let the hand die by fire. Let, let fire burn the hand down. Don't even go close. When I was younger than this, I know you to get close to any man. Like, close in proximity, like, uh, standing beside me. I did not used to. I moved far away. Because I didn't understand many things. Now that I have a lot of words in my mouth that I will say to you, and then you will, your hand will, will die by fire, that the hand will wither immediately, that you cannot even use the hand and touch me. Now, they, they look at me like I'm not, I'm not feminine. It's not that I'm not feminine. It's because your intention, the rubbish in your heart is rubbish. The thing in your heart is rubbish. That is why you cannot get close to me. If you have pure heart towards me, why not? A guy was, was sending a message to me on uh, LinkedIn. He was like, oh, I support all what you do. I support everything. I wish you all the best. You can always reach out to me if you need it. Is he not getting close to me? Of course he is. But you, you just want to touch me and mess up with me. And I remember one time two guys came to the house where I and one girl were. One of them was like, I said, don't touch me. Don't even let your hand touch me. You understand? Because that is what happens. You know, from there, they say, and they, and they ended in, in, in sex. And it was a, a, a sex party. And it was rubbish. Don't allow any man to despise your youth. These guys will, will, will stand up from you, shake their body like they have never seen you before in their life. The way they will deny yourself, you will, you will almost feel like, what did I just do to myself? Don't let anyone even get close to the point of despising you. Be the strong girl. Be the stronger thing. Let them call you masculine. It's better. It's better for them to call you Ashewo. Oh, with all the names they call me now, none of them have called me Ashewo before. They can call me, you are rigid, you are strong, you are masculine, you are feminist. There's no Ashewo inside it. There's no hookup inside it. There's no prostitute inside the name. There's no bitch inside the name. Even if they use that bitch, it's for their own head. 
because they are the bitch. They are the dog that is jumping from one one man, one woman to another. Because what does bitch mean? It's, it's talking about dog now. They are the bitch that want to sleep with a girl that you don't know. That is not your wife. You are the bitch now. You are the dog. You are the egot. Don't let any man despise your youth as a woman. I don't know that part of your of your heart that will receive this, but let it be open right now and receive this message. You can work for your own money. Don't just be attracted to oh, he said he will take me to to London. He said he will. You know, girls are always looking for many girls. Don't let me say all girls. But many girls are always looking for. He said he will give me money. That's why they insult you at at any any instance. Some men will be like, girls, they like money. Then I ask one boy, boy, say to money, Abby. And I say, because girls like free money. I say, but those girls that, that like free money, you cannot leave them and run towards those ones that don't like free money. Why must you always take delight in insulting girls? Why? For what reason? The one that says she dies, that likes free money, then leave her and go to the one that doesn't like free money. Can't you see them all around? Can't you see girls that like to work for themselves and make their own money? You will see those ones, you will not run after them. The ones that you will, you will, you will give money and insult them is the one you will be running after. What is wrong with you? And the boy said, I don't want to argue. I said, me too, I don't want to argue. Because he knows what I'm saying is the truth. Don't give yourself to that situation. Go and look at it. It is that prime, that younger age. Go and look at even, even men that do Aristo. I call them Olosho, Olosho men. That do Aristo, that do, I will take care of you, I will bless you. But, but you cannot bless somebody without sleeping with, with them. When you have your own wife, are you, are you senseless? Oh, Lord Paloni, don't you have brain? Don't you think? Don't you have heart? Is there any big deal? Is there any problem in giving money to a girl that, that you know needs help without sleeping with her? Of course, you have your own wife at home. But that is part of despising your youth, of despising a girl's youth. Go and look at it. They don't go for elderly women because they know that elderly women are wise. They know what, what, what they, they are trying to do. And elderly woman will tell you, don't you have a wife at home? Go and meet your wife and your children. But those girls without brain, beauty without brain, they say, no problem, you can take care of me. They will give you the money, but they will take a lot of things from you. They will despise your youth. You become useless. Some of these girls, they drip from their private parts like this. They drip from their anus. They sit down. You know, one of the, the things I heard um, of the testimony said, some things will be discharging from a private parts. Very smelling. These are the things that happen. Don't let all these men despise your youth. Be the strong girl. Let them call you, you are rigid. And when you have husband, I remember one, one young girl like this. She was she was saying to me, he said, men don't like you because they say, how well, will you have husband? They are not the type of husband that I want. The husband that only cares about my, that only, that only gets attracted to my body. What am I doing with that type of husband? So after touching my body, so what's next? I'm not that kind of, I'm not that kind of girl. That you're only attracted to my youthful looks. You don't care about what I will be doing five years time. You don't care about what I'll be doing ten years time. Are you trying to say you only want this marriage to last for one month? As are many of these men, after marriage and they see that their, their wife is changing or after giving birth, they see the way, they start going outside. Because they didn't take time to, to love this woman beyond the physical beyond the, uh, what they are saying. Don't let anyone despise you. Don't let any man be attracted to your looks. If he wants to love you, he should love your heart. He should love whom you are. Not your looks. Don't allow it. Any man that is toasting you because of your looks, tell him that you are not, you are not, you are not like that. You are not an animal. You are not talky. You are not an animal. You are not chicken. You see it's different stupid names they call girls. Is it chicks? And these girls don't say anything because they know they know that because they have they, they, they have given their power and their strength to these men. That is the trick they are trying to do. They are trying to take your power away from you 
and add it to them. So today God is teaching us. You know, I address it more to girls, but same to men too. All the things that they are telling you to use your youthful energy to do that is sinful against God. Go and look at it. You can hardly find 50 years old man still going around wanting to do armed robbery. It's this youth that they, they do all this rubbish. Don't let them despise your youth. Give your time to God. If you don't have a job, become a worker of God. And watch how God will give you a job eventually. He can even give you company because that's what God promised me. Because all the jobs you are looking for, is it not to go and slave for somebody? So if God says that those companies will corrupt you, He can give you a company of your own. It's all in the fulfillment of His plans for us. That's why He say, keep our destiny. We should keep our destiny. We should guide it jealously. Don't let any man just come and snatch it away from you because through sex or through whatever or through dirty talks. The devil snatched the destiny of Adam and Eve from them by deceiving them. Don't let any man deceive you. Don't let any woman deceive you. May God help us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the word of God that has gone out. Father, let you do what you are saying now to do in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, open our understanding. Let us understand. Let the word of God has gone out. Let you do what you are saying now to do. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. But as we are going to the day, go ahead of us. Thank you, Lord, for our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. Bye.